everybody, John Adolfi here. Welcome to a bank-owned property located at 111 East Cayuga Street in the city of Oswego. This is what it looks like around it. What we have here is a 1,068 square foot home. It says here, two bedroom, one bath. So far what I'm seeing is that the roof looks, uh, looks good on the bottom side, top side, is old and is going to need to be replaced. It's got aluminum siding. All right, can't tell much more from outside. Let's head inside. All right, so we have got a living room with laminate flooring. It's got the paneling that's been uh, painted. Vinyl windows, that's cool. Uh, it looks like this is a dining area. It's small. Okay. And you've got a room here that has not been finished off. This could be opened up or it could be used as a closet or a pantry. All right, so this is a bedroom right here. Okay, and here you're going to need to do some sheetrocking. And here I'd gut it. Um, you can see that they've tried to put sheetrock over uh, lath and plaster. I'd say go ahead and just tear it completely out and redo it. There comes a point at these houses when you keep trying to put a band-aid over a band-aid that it's time to take that to the next level. Not a bad room here. Looks like this is where the dining room was. Is. And we'll go downstairs in just a second. Laundry area, okay, for a washer. Stackable washer and dryer right here. Let's take a look at the kitchen. Not too bad size, you know, considering this is a little over a thousand square foot home. Cabinets could be repainted, we want to get rid of the appliances, get new appliances in here, some new lighting, some sheetrock, and some drawers are missing, clean up, floor covering. You know, it's okay, it might be, be able to be cleaned up. Okay, let's take a look at the back room and then of course the backyard. So we've got an unfinished room in here, but it's almost there. <laughs> Just has some mudding to do, paint and floor covering. And here is the backyard. It's not overly large, but most of them are, you know, 33 feet in uh, width. This happens to be 48 feet in width and that's unusual for Oswego, uh, the Oswego City. All right, let's head upstairs. The ceiling isn't too bad in here. Oh, and here's the uh, porch roof. I didn't think it looked too bad. It's rolled roofing, and it's just kind of dipping it, but it's not like, uh, you know, from the, uh, from the roofing itself, it looks like it's pretty good. This here just needs to be cleaned up. Again, it's up to you. You can either put quarter inch sheetrock and go over it again or just tear it out and start over. So, all right, although the tax roll says it's a three, uh, two bedroom, you could technically use this as a three bedroom. And uh, let me show you the back of the roof. See, portions of it have been done. Even the flat roof there uh, has been redone. Some of this doesn't look too bad. Over here, as you can see, where it's a little more worn and the other area where I pointed out earlier. All right, let's head to the basement, man. I just saw this thing right here. This could have been an old cistern. It's kind of cool looking. Um, so you've got kind of a dirt concrete, well, concrete dirt floor or whatever. All right, you got an older style hot water tank. Older style, isn't that? Means you get, probably should replace it. You know what I like down here? I thought lights were on down here, they're not. Look at these big windows right here. If those were cleaned up, oh, I'll tell you, there's a lot of light coming through them right now. I've got some insulation on the walls. Okay, let's take a look at the furnace. Should be right around here, and it is. And it is, it is, well, it's older. What I would do is just get everything turned on and see how we work, how it works, you know. 
All right, let's go ahead and wrap things up here then. Before we do, I just want to show you, you do have circuit breakers right here, and it is uh, on public water. There you go. All right, now let's head back up. Okay, so as you can see, you know there's quite a bit of work that needs to be done, especially on the inside, but other than that, that's about it. For those of you who are interested in this house, give us a call, 315-695-6434. And if you'd like to receive videos like this alerted directly to you from YouTube, just hit subscribe and the little bell and uh, you'll be able to start receiving videos from that point forward. All right, and you guys have a great day. Listen, real estate's awesome. Take care.